is up everybody Mandy here so mm, we're really off to an amazing start and that is 110% complete freaking sarcasm holy crap I cannot make our bad luck up I just cannot we have about mm, three three and a half hours four I don't know Drive to Utica, Rome. Today is the, um, we were supposed to raise yesterday, postponed today because of rain. The New Yorker, uh, 10,000 win, 100 laps, and we are currently at a rest stop. And I will show you why, but I'm just gonna go with bad luck strikes and strikes and threes, right? So, like, this is gonna be a great start to the evening. That is what I'm praying, so. Let's go see what's going on. Okay, back on the road again. Quick brief, what the heck happened? Uh, right rear wheel bearing on the trailer was on fire. Yes. So we had to change it. And Probably took a good hour, hour and a half. At least. Um, yeah. Luckily, Art was at the rest stop where we were at and helped us out. And uh, some lady pulled up beside us and told us we were smoking. So uh, that was nice because we didn't really have any clue anything was wrong. No. Um, right after she said that, there was some smoke coming out of the fender. It, it was hard to see because it was coming from the inside of the right rear wheel yeah. on the trailer. But, um, but it's, it's fixed. fixed for now. Uh, we'll probably have to keep an eye on it. We just put all new brakes and wheel bearings on this trailer, so it's weird that that would happen. Yeah. But, I don't know, stuff fails. The inside bearing, all the needles came out of it. And fell off of it and the, they were all squared off. It was really bad shape. I never quite understood why you always want to leave so early, but... There's a good example why. Yeah. <laughs> we have arrived to Utica Rome Speedway.
YouTubers in one lab. Hell of a move. Um, <laughs> looks great. Um, however, yes, looks awesome in our theories. But when you, uh, Jesus, when um, you kick butt in your theories, that's fantastic. But when you compare overall times, we're still three to four tenths off. Not the whole field, but some of the good drivers and other things. So, I mean, 100 laps. Now we're at the point of we gotta draw a wow. That's it. No big deal. Evidently, our old beat up doors.
25th, and uh, I think it was the first the first yellow we got. I was restarting fifth, and um, Peter Brent started third. Ronnie Johnny Ronnie Johnson started fourth or something. Ronnie comes and crosses over Peter Brenton's right front for God knows who, what reason, I don't know. It was uncalled for, and I didn't like the move he made, but then I ended up the innocent bystander because Peter slid up after that. I filled the hole going down the back stretch. I was wheel to wheel with him, and I don't know why he took it out on me, but he ran me into the uke tire and folded up my front end because of something Ronnie Johnson did. And it's just, it's completely uncalled for and it's really hard for me to cool down right now. I, I, I'd love to call, and call him and yell at him, but I don't have his phone number and I'm so freaking angry right now. I just don't even know what to say. Uh, it's just so uncalled for. Like, I, I don't race him like that. Uh, you know, it's just... It shouldn't have been any contact. We were wheel to wheel. I didn't move him up the track. I obviously should have. And I'm going to have to next time. But it's just... Ridiculous. I just... I, I don't know what to say. That's not it. So... Racing is so frustrating because you get to uh, you have a week like this where you have you know something break when you're leading and you lose brakes when you're up front and then lose brakes when you're up front and then you get run over like for no reason. Not even I didn't do a damn thing to him all season. We never even made contact. Like always just making it like making a big effort to not make contact with it because I don't want to race that way and just then you just get freaking cleaned out for no reason it's so dirty and uncalled for I'm freaking so mad I just I can tell it's just wrong like why I can't and it's like I'm not going to stick around and talk to the guy because I'm just ready to I'm just I'm, I know I would do something I would regret like so we leave we ride home and I'm just we didn't even it's a hundred lapper and we didn't even make 20 laps just, we had a good car just making it really hard to Hold it together. There you go. That's the way what it is. I just can't. I can't calm down. I don't know what to do about it. So that's where I'm at. So four-hour drive with that.